Hey everyone, it's Friday. Yay! I'm out of sorts. I'm sorry. Let me take a deep breath. <laughs> the adjustments that have been going on in the past minute. <laughs> a lot of bracing. Right. We're all good now. We're all good. And it, I just have to mention this off the top. Uh huh. It's Betty White's birthday. Happy she's birthday. She's 98. <laughs> happy birthday, Betty White. Yeah, in case if she's watching. If she's watching, happy birthday, Betty White. <laughs> well, because it's Friday, we like to do what we always do on Friday, and it is our free for all. So many of you send in your questions, and we would like to answer as many as we can. Yeah, today. we're going to do as many as we can. All right, Bonnie gets us started, and she asks, Where did the idea of PTL come from, and how did it start? It's the best AM. TV show on the air. Love you all. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie. So I actually had to ask Jill because Jill, Jill was knows. here in the beginning. She is still our producer. We adore Jill. Mm -hmm. And she said it started 16 years ago. It was an idea from the news department. And it, 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 originally, they wanted to sort of take news stories that had already aired on the news and maybe they were positive yeah. or featurey or something like that and put them on PTL. But Jennifer and Koviak, who was the first host, and Jill said, we're going to do a little bit more than that. And so there's they, they pushed forward. Yeah, there's Jill. Look so at this that is back. Hair. This is 16 years ago. Go, Jill. <laughs> Jill said in, in our eye. Is, is she wearing a headband? <laughs> Look at that hair. What? It, I don't know. I it's, like the style. Yeah, well, Love that. that's Jill. And uh, anyhow, they started the show. And then about a year ago, more resources were put forward. And, yes. you know, and that's the show we have you're, today. You're almost coming up on your one year anniversary. Yeah, I know. It's, it was the day after the Super Bowl. What should we last do? Year. What we should need to we have do? A party. Are we going to have a party? I think we should have a Let's party. Let's celebrate. All right. We're going to do something. We don't know what, but we're going to do we're something. We're going to do it. All right. Next question uh, is from Chris, uh, and it's for you, Heather. Oh. Uh, he says, Heather, I just want to say good luck in the race. I give you credit. I don't know how you do it. I'm not doing it. I mean, I'm doing, I will do it, <laughs> but it's really hard. <laughs> Mikey was asking how it's going, and I said, my legs don't hurt, because I'm not running a far mm. distance. It's more of the inside that hurts, which is bad. Like okay. the lungs. Oh, yeah. The like when you're chest. breathing, you feel it. Yes. Okay. Here I am, for example, running, basically dying, because I'm so out of shape. <laughs> and here's my neck. That's just like a casual walk. <laughs> he really no, <laughs> Kevin, <doesn't>. go. <laughs> I've been taking Kevin with me and and <laughs> encouraging him along the way, but the encouragement is really for me. I'm like, Kevin, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job, bud. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, like, that's actually for me. Right. I love how you're exhausted and Kevin's just wagging his tail. It's just a walk for Kevin. It's out, it's right, out and no, about. But I, hey, you're doing, you're moving and you're making a, a, a change, and that's great. Slowly. Right. Slowly. Brian says, is PTL on a different sound stage as the news studio, or do you just move things around for the show? And the door you guys go in says PTL, mm -hmm. or do you just put that up before the show? Just curious. Have a great one. David made sure that sign stays up all the time. <laughs> no, it's been up for like a year now, right? Did they just put it up? Since you came on to the show. <laughs> They was like, we need people to know what's going on in here. We do, well, we do we, use the same yeah. set. Of, yeah, in fact, we should show some people the picture sometime of what the whole studio looks like. I don't think we can do it now. But Patty's going to make that happen. Oh, really? Patty's going to make that happen? She has all the control <laughs> today. All right. We'll see whether that can happen. But yeah, they move the news <laughs> desk. It's on like a little platform, mm -hmm. and then everything gets moved around in the studio. So they make it work it's every really day. It's really neat. It's amazing. And we have a much bigger space than a lot of other places do, so we can move around and, and work with true. the space we have better. All right. Oh, look. Oh, so There it is. Okay, so do you see me shot. waving? Yeah. We're over here, people. I'm glad you yeah. can't see my arm fat shaking. But that's hey! the new set there that's been moved over that you see under the Pittsburgh Today Live on the, that big screen. That's the back of the news mm -hmm. desk. And then that, that cage there, that's going to be for puppies that we will have later in the show. Yes. Yes. Our little couch. We yeah. love it. All right. Uh, Lois wrote in and says, Selena, how long did you tap dance? You did not miss a beat. So she's talking about Selena yesterday. Oh, oh she's coming, over. coming in. I'm Special coming guest, over. Selena Wait, you have to see Selena. <laughs> Selena's shoes today, they are not tap shoes. <laughs> Can you step to the side and show people your shoes? Yes. Or do you not want to? Am I Here. gonna embarrass you? What? Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> you pulled a David. <laughs> You are so. You Sorry, did, David. No, you're you're fantastic. <laughs> now you were tap dancing yesterday, and they want to know how long. Like you grew up tap dancing. <laughs> Sixteen years. 
<laughs> well, you were fantastic. And so Lois is saying that maybe you should teach David how to tap dance. You I would love to. Lesson. I would love it. Now, Tell I was as, as we were watching you yesterday, I was sort of playing along, yes. trying to take the lessons that you I were getting. I thought you looked good. Well, this is so funny. Heather took a little video, so take a look. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're doing it, David. <laughs> kind of. I like the big finale. You have to wait for this. Oh, we have to wait for the big finale? Oh, there. Okay. Is that it? Oh, that might be it. I was trying to do what they were doing. Uh-huh. You know? You are. David. And, and I... Uh, okay. You kind of went like... Big well, finale. Yeah, I mean, you have to do that at the yeah. end because then that makes it concrete that it's over and, you know, ta-da. If you want to see the whole video, go over to our Pittsburgh Stay Live Facebook page. Just you probably don't want to see it. All right, uh, David is asking, what's your favorite and least favorite classes in high school? Do you remember high school? Yeah, I remember. What, we were just you... talking. I couldn't say recently when I was talking about college just no, a few minutes ago. No, we can't ago. say can't... college recently. No, no, no it's too no. far. But of course on. I remember high school. No, English was probably my favorite, but I like biology too. Oh, yeah. What about you? Mm, I don't really remember. I liked biology and chemistry. I you like chemistry? Was... Yeah, I thought it was really fascinating. Oh, chemistry was the, I like physics, but not chemistry at all. Not a big fan of gym so class. Hard. No, I wasn't a fan of that. Either. Not very coordinated. All right, well, that's all the time we have for questions, unfortunately, but keep sending them in because we will answer more questions next Friday. We mm -hmm. always do it the Friday free for all yeah. and check our, our Facebook page and, and post them there. So we want to get to a trend that's being called spruce up your spruce. Yeah. So, you know, Christmas is over. You may still have your Christmas tree up. We had a real tree, so we took ours down. We had to throw it away. Mm -hmm. It was so dry by the end of the season. Um, but if you have a fake tree, you could spruce it up. Yeah, so uh, what people are doing now is decorating for Valentine's. Why put the tree away, away if you really like the tree? So this is an, a, a, an example of this. This is from Instagram. The account is Turtle Creek Lane. And uh, so this is a home decor specialist. And I think we have one more tree that we want to show as well, just to give you an idea of what you might be able to do. And you know what? Coming up on the show, Steve Neubauer is yeah. here. And he's going to give us ideas on how to decorate. Because really, when you take down all the holiday decorations, Sometimes oh, things seem I bare, know. right? I hate that. We cleared off our mantle, and I still left some of them that are, are seasonal, you know, right. winter-themed. I still left some of those up, but, yeah, it's sad to see everything yeah. go. So he's going to give us some ideas of what else we can do, so that's a good thing. All right, well, here's a question for you. What is the best job in America? We, yeah, we may have it, actually. <laughs> but according to this study, the, the best jobs that you can go into right now are tech jobs. Uh, I believe so, it. Yeah, so uh, in fact, uh, this is a list of top jobs in America for 2020. What is a front end engineer? I don't know. What front this end of what? This is why we don't have tech jobs, <laughs> right. because we don't know even what a front end engineer is. But that was number one on the list. Oh, Patty's telling us it's computer software. It's computer software. OK. <laughs> My right. mind went somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> a data scientist and a software engineer also on the list. The only one on the list of top 10 that was not a tech job was a speech pathologist. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so there you go. Now, one of the hardest jobs ever, not on the list, is being a mom. Am I right? That's so true. I mean, really, That's think so about true. what moms have to do. Moms have to be an expert in so many different fields, and they have to do everything at once. Like, you're juggling yeah. everything. So someone was, uh, they tried to put sort of a price on what a mom should get paid if a mom were getting paid. And so I this is what this they came paycheck. up with. So salary.com calculated a mom's worth based on real-time market prices of all the jobs that mom, moms perform. Mm -hmm. And look at this, 178201 is the medium annual salary for a mom. I want that salary. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, so, I don't know who's going to yeah, pay who's me that salary. Who's going to pay you that salary? I don't think my children will pay me that salary. <laughs> Send but them a bell. It is. It's demanding. <laughs> I will say, though, I have a wonderful husband who is very hands-on and does just as much as I do. I feel right. like roles have really shifted and men are more involved in the childcare process. I know some older men who have never changed a diaper before. Right. And I've had multiple children. 
that's changed. Yeah. So we are, I mean, as tough as a job as it is being a mom, I think uh, dads deserve a lot of credit too. Absolutely. I think things have changed. Yeah. We'll have to figure out what they would be, get paid. You got to go to one of my favorite places last night. I did. Night. I did. I w we went, we decided to have a date night in the middle of the week, uh, and we went to Alta Via. And I just want to show you. Uh, so this is one of the big burrito group places. Oh, here's Dining with David, where I put up, check please. That's the first thing I'm doing. Check, Actually, please. I was on the phone with you when you asked. For the check. <laughs> yes, you called. Uh, but these are the three pasta dishes. So we got little dishes of pasta to share. Oh, that's my favorite. Did, oh, so you had this because you went to Altavia yes. and learned how to make pasta. Because yes. this is Bill Fuller, uh, the big burrito group. So Chef mm -hmm. Bill Fuller is behind the menu and he was teaching you how to do all this, yes. right? But we did go back. Frankie and I went back for a date night because it was so good. And I love that burrata dish with the pasta right. and the beef. Right. Ooh, and this so first good. one, I, this is a seafood dish there. And then we're moving to the one. And the skillet there, though that is gnocchi oh, with cheese it. all over, and all of them were absolutely delicious. So I just wanted to share mm. because we had a lot of fun last night, and it was okay. so cool to actually finally check out that restaurant because I tried to get in a couple times, and it was like That's a Saturday planned. or a Friday night, and they were all booked up. And they're opening a second location now too. That's how oh, cool. popular it's become. So. I didn't know that. Yeah. Things I learned from Heather Abraham. Stick with me, kid. Okay, I will. Not what they say. <laughs> yes, I think that's what they say.